You know, in building our businesses, it, it's an art and it's a science. And as I've traveled all over the world, it's been such a privilege to see businesses in all different industries and really gather the best practices, the innovative ideas, the creative ideas. And one of these principles is the six steps to drilling and maintaining an oil well. We can look at our business like uh, oil wells, where we have all of these oil wells. Now, some oil wells we shouldn't be drilling because it's going to we're going to spend so much time and energy and not get the return that we need. It's short-term versus long-term in our business. And so the six steps to drilling and maintaining an oil well is step one is to identify the targets. So whether it's a product or service that we want to produce or that we want to sell, step one is going to be identify the targets. Who are our potential targets? This is building a database. It's looking at, you know, the different demographic. Within our targets, we'll have different groups. When we look at building these groups, the better we identify the targets, quantity of targets and quality of targets, the more effective, the more money that we're going to make as a business. Step two is develop and deliver a message. Okay, so we've got, we've got all of the uh, targets identified. Now we have to look at what are their needs, examination, solution, implementation. Again, examination, solution, implementation. And so we need to take the examination, what are their needs? What are their successes? What are their fears? What's their pain? What's their pleasure? What do they want to accomplish? And we want to craft an unbelievable message that when we deliver that message to the targets, we're going to get a lot of people to raise their hand. Now, it is true that as a business, we can go out and proactively call people rather than getting people to call us. What we have found based on our own experience and our research is that if you get somebody to raise their hand, it's equivalent to 550 outbound calls. That gives a lot of motivation to identifying the targets properly and then developing and delivering the message properly as well. Now, step three is asking key questions. So once somebody raises their hand and they say, I'm interested in our product or service, what's the next step that we need to do there? We need to ask them key questions or do the examination. When we do that properly, then we move into step four, which is presenting solutions. Step five is implementing solutions. And step six is creating a relationship for life. Those six steps are the absolute key steps that we need to do. Again, we can, like the five areas of business, we can only be as strong as our weakest link. So if we don't do a good job at identifying the targets, the right targets, the quantity, the quality of targets, all of the rest of it's going to be weak. If we do a great job in area one, but area two or step two, we don't develop a good message or deliver that message in the right way, at the right time, in the right manner, well, it doesn't matter how good the targets are, we're not going to get the response. Now, if we do great in area one, step one and step two, but then we don't ask the questions, we get all these calls coming in, but then we don't have people trained to handle these in the appropriate way and asking the questions. If all they do is present solutions, that's probably not going to sell them. We need to be able to ask the right questions. Now, when we do step one, two, and three really strong, step four is presenting solutions. If we don't present the solutions in the manner, in the personality that they're looking at, we'll lose sales there. In the implementation, step five, if we don't do this, if we don't service people, if we don't implement it based on their personality, we're not going to create raving fan experience. And then step six is creating a client for life, a relationship for life. Those are the six steps to taking our business, moving it to the next level, putting automation, systems, networks in place to do some amazing things. We hope this principle, this natural law, will change the way you're doing business forever. Have a great day.